Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 7 in my Dune Spice Wars campaign as House Atreides. Now, in the last episode, we made a bold push for the Polar Sink region here at the center of the map, but we were ultimately repelled with much of our forces destroyed. Now, we must hold the line while we lick our wounds and rebuild our forces, but all is not lost. In the last episode, we actually obtained the charter for the Dune Governorship, effectively saying that we will have complete control of Arrakis in 21 minutes, thus winning the game, of course. And we're doing a few things to ensure that we do not lose the Dune Governorship. Now, the only way you can lose it is to be outmaneuvered politically. Votes have to roll. Resolutions have to be passed. That's say we'll either get demoted or someone else will take it. No one else is eligible at the moment, so I'm not worried about that, but we could be demoted out of it. There is different resolutions that can pass that can say everyone gets removed out of all the charters that they currently have. Anyways, to ensure that that doesn't happen, or to at least mitigate the risk, I'm hoping to get the Speaker of the Council charter allowing re-rolling of resolutions during the proposition phase. So during the proposition phase, the card will appear, and we can say, uh-uh. Get rid of anything that's going to affect the Dune Governorship. Now, it would be very unlucky for two of them to roll, but if only one rolls, we can put all our votes down on that and thus maintain control. Despite our losses militarily, our victory politically should be secure. But of course, we're not going to, you know, I've got a little bit of pride, a little bit of skin in the game. I'm still going to raise back our military and try to fight back and get control of that polar region. How can you not? The insult of allowing the smugglers to have pushed me back like that. I, I just cannot stand for it, essentially. Now, anyways, I digress. I haven't let time play. I did notice we, have an, we had an event at the end of the last episode that I didn't actually notice till now, and it says turmoil. The Pan and Graben, or Graben people, is unhappy with you. Find a way to satisfy them. Unfortunately, no point reading beyond this because we just can't do it. It says zero days. I guess it's just basically run out right as I was finishing the episode, what's going to happen is we're going to have a rebellion somewhere. So that sucks because we've only got two units in the field right now and both of them are up here. So hopefully the rebellion happens up here. Most likely it won't, but we'll see. And what we're going to have to do is just raise new troops and then get to that region as quickly as possible before we lose it. So what I'm going to go with is a heavy weapon squad and another trooper. So two extra units. Cooking away there, and I noticed that we have 2,700 Plascrete, an obscene amount, stored up. So we can finally start expanding some of our towns. I had a look at the ones I wanted to do, just these three at first. So we'll just expand those three towns. So this one, we're going to go with extra influence, just to dominate the votes, because we're going to need it. This one, we're going to go with manpower, because we also need to get more people on the harvesters, and also more troops. And then this one, more research. Because why not? We're also about to finish our research. We have the grid explained, we're about to get the crew training program, so we need a lot of manpower if we want to put the crew on the harvesters. So after that, I'm torn. We could go with high command, getting more command points, allowing us to field more troops, which sounds good, but it takes 30 days, or support structures, allowing us to get the support drone unit, a unit that we never even saw this entire campaign. We fought against them, but we never actually made one ourselves. Am I allowed to? I, got ha I would have to cancel one to even look at the what they are, but the list was there before. I think, they hate, I think they give extra health to units nearby. I think that's what they do. We kind of need just to see all the units, you know? So I think I'll probably go with that. And then if we have the time, and we're still in the game, high command. Alrighty, that's the situation. So the vote's ongoing at the moment. It's going to be a couple of days before it actually gets decided. I noticed as well, we actually got refunded the authority that I thought had gone into the Polar Sink that we weren't going to get back. Remember, I tried, I think we spent like 350 authority or something getting this place, but then when they took it back, I assume, I guess we got refunded, which is quite nice. So what we'll do with that is actually claim Pelfear, seeing as it's just going to be a passive thing anyway, and I don't think I'll be taking the Polar Sink for at least a little while. And we're maxed out of that currency right now. So that's it. That's the time play and see where this rebellion is going to kick off. Well, that was quick. Rebellion underway. So it's all the way up there. Hmm. Now, the garrison doesn't help. And we've got two units that can come up and fight. Our other units are at 39% and 37. Now, is the airfield up and running? It is, even while the fight... Okay, cool. So we can fly them up. They might make it. I'm going to wait for these to get made. Just two units, two more units, and as soon as they come out, start flying up. 
But before that happens, we'll get these a little bit closer, start moving them up, and hopefully they can at least engage in combat, stall the timer, yeah? And then the others will fly up and engage and help. That's the plan. It's all we can do, really. So sandstorm detected. Oh man, we haven't seen one of those in a long time. Affecting the uh, productivity down here. Now we're suffering a loss of water because of the rebellion. Can't turn that one off. I want to turn off one of these sieges. Need the th I like the authority one. Don't need it, I guess, but I like it. Get rid of this. The extra plascrete that can go. Save the water. Alrighty. Sir. Extra hegemony if you take this. Let's just get the tech. Alright, so they've moved up a little bit more. Let's go. They're going to take a long time to run that whole way. We're at 68% for the others. It's okay, I'm on top of it. I'm on top of it. <laughs> Barely. Alright, the units are moving up. So we have our heavy, heavy weapon squad, which can fire into the enemy, causing disrupted, which can happen up to 10 times when they fire in, dealing... Which means that the enemy unit will deal, will receive rather 2% extra damage. So that can go all the way up to 20% once they've been fired on a little while, which is why I want the, the other heavy weapons team to come up. So there we go, we've gotten our other units now. So these two can just fly immediately. And by the time my guys get there, everyone should be arriving together, I hope. These guys, these guys might get there a little, a little quicker. That's the plan, anyway. Sandworm, yeah, that's okay. Unassigned agent. Okay. So we could also further our progress with the assassination attempt. Another thousand gold is needed. You need two infiltration here. We should be about to get that in a moment. Must have gotten pushed back a little bit. And then we have Gyrid. <laughs> or Girid. Knowledge global production is increased by the infiltration level. Let's do it this way then. Hey, we went up from 31 to 32. So 1% does make a difference. At least in the end game. What was that? Inactive harvest? That's fine. The council results. Alright, we passed both of them, actually. I was a bit worried, actually, because I didn't even think of it. I spent 50 influence to get that town passively. You know, peacefully annexation. Uh, but we still passed the votes either way. Not bad. So we are now the speaker of the council. So I've seen people say in... I think it was on the Steam discussions for this game, actually, that they couldn't find the reroll option. So I'll pay attention. You know, the next phase of the council is in two days. Maybe then we'll see this reroll option. So I'll try to pay attention to that. It says two days. That seems very soon. But okay. Anyway, we got the 30% authority production as well. But we also got hit with the uh, negative for Plascrete. But, you know, Plascrete's fine. So don't worry about it. 30% is a lot, though, with our big numbers now. Look at this. We got movement. Smugglers pushing on our rebellious province, actually. I wonder what would happen if they... Could they attack the rebels? Now, that um, reminds me. Let's get the poison the reserves, gear sabotage, and supply drop. Three operations. Three low-level operations, but good nonetheless. These guys actually look like they might have it, but these are coming up too, so it's going to get messy. Holy crap, this is a full-on, full-blown army. There's four units. The other one's there, other one's there. They can come up as well. It seems like they kind of need to. Now, we can make even more units. We have the manpower to do so, and the money. So, we've got two troopers, two heavy weapon squad, and two wardens. I guess two rangers? Nice balanced approach to the army. I might ceasefire these guys actually. Because I don't think I can really deal with that right now, yes, right after sir. a rebellion. Our other troops have landed, by the way. Hard to see, but it's happened. Raid detected. A raid coming in? So you're telling me that I've got a rebellion, and then a raid, and then also a full army trying to attack me. Hmm. Well, that's just my luck, isn't it? We'll try the ceasefire. I wonder what, the, what, what it does to a rebellion. Let's have a read of it. Interrupts and prevents battles. Well, that's not what I want for the rebel, the rebels, the rebels. Let's just focus on the re rebellion, kill them, and then we'll ceasefire and see what happens. So hard to see. There we go. Is that it? They're dead now. 
Alright, it looks like they can't actually, or they haven't attacked me yet. Because they're waiting for this to tick down. I'm just gonna wait. And then we've got rebels coming in. Or the sea trade. Alright, those three buildings are done. Hostile units, of course. Point of interest investigated. We have extra tech. Okay. On duty. This is very messy indeed. But the other troops are about to be here now. There's so many troops here. It's crazy. Okay, sandworms are appearing also. So let's just move over there, and then I'll do the ceasefire, and we'll see what happens. I My guess is we still fight the, uh, the black units, right? Like the, the locals. So ceasefire is active. No one's attacking anyone, actually. Guys, can you just get in on the bedrock, please? And stay there? Now, let's put down the... They should be healing here, right? Service, oh, there's sandworms everywhere. There's sandworms, like, here and here. I hear fighting noises. I don't see anyone. This is such a mess. I'm just going to do a supply drop because they're, cap they're fighting for it. It shouldn't really happen, but... With, even with the ceasefire, it still says the smugglers are occupying, like, trying to take the town. So, therefore, we're not getting what we need from it. So, I'm going to supply drop. That should bring our numbers up. Yeah, so that we're healing now. And we'll use gear sabotage when the ceasefire lifts. That lasts for two days. Now, remember, all my units are stranded. Well, not stranded. They're out, out elsewhere right now. What a mess. What a mess. All right, well, we'll just have to leave that as it happens, uh, but we can still expand and build. More recruitment would be good. How are we doing for the, uh, yeah, let's put some more crew on these harvesters. The exchange rate's still two. We're stockpiling an incredible amount. Don't really need the money that much, so we'll just leave it where it is, it's fine. Is it 50-50? It's 60-40, let's go 50-50. So many troops, I can't get over that, it's crazy. What was that? Enemy agent escaped. I don't know. Let's see, um, who has our other agent? Let's he still has one. Okay. How can I help? You can give me my agent back. 270 intel. Sure. I've got his actually. Let's even it up. All right, we traded agents. I've got 15 now, it's most I can have. Let's go all the way up to level three with them. We're gonna, we actually need to go up to level three if you wanna do a successful assassination. How much longer on the ceasefire? It's two thirds done. Our units are full strength though. I just worry about sandworms killing them as they run off in different directions and stuff. We can build units here or we could forward the assassination right now. We need 500 intel, so we have to wait a little bit for that. I almost want to just leave the region. It's just such a mess. I'm just so worried about what's going to happen. The garrison are, like, fighting and stuff as well. All right, so the ceasefire is over. Battle has recommenced. Is there anything else I need to be attending to? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, this town. Yeah, we haven't got that yet. There are 500, 500. Okay, cool. Yep, I guess that's kind of it. So let's just focus up on this. Make sure nothing too crazy happens. Should we do the... Let's do the gear sabotage. It might not affect those rebels, but it'll affect the smugglers at the very least. Alrighty, they're still trying to pillage the town. All their, inf their missile infantry ran into basically a, a killing zone. Yeah, chase him. I don't care. Chase him. Finish him. Wow. Alright, well, we did it. <laughs> right, so let's divide up the, the troops now. I want to make kind of like two armies. These guys can fly up to... This area is so well defended, I don't think I need to do that. But I'd like to send some down here. Yeah, so let's get that and that. We'll hold here. Let's 
still says must leave combat, but I assume they have. We're focused. All right, and we need to get the militia back up and running. They all died. But the heavies are good. They hold for a little while. Sorry for all this camera movement, it's probably a bit jarring. So basically, long long and short of it is, a bunch of troops down here, a bunch of troops in the middle, nothing really up the top because this is a pretty well defended region. This is the only area which is a bit of an issue, but we can get there pretty quickly by flying in, which is good. But if this area gets attacked, the missile batteries and the garrisons usually hold, so that's fine. Alright, so not bad, not bad. Alright, we have the money, we have the intel, let's begin the next phase of the assassination. And see what kind of event comes up. Although we might have to pay even more intel. Maybe I should wait just a little bit. So that we can afford whatever resources it asks for. In the future. Uh, then looking from a high level. Let's see then. Towns that could be expanded for less than 500. If, if that's possible. We're looking for something with 3 pips. Seems like everything's got f at least 4. We are about to get that one. But that's fine. Yep. So let's just expand the ones then. Like this. And we'll build a bit more. Fuel. Fuel is actually pretty good. More research is always nice. Speaking of, we've got our further uh, crew training and we're going to get the support structures, getting that extra unit, and then we'll get the, the one that expands our military a little bit. Do we have an idle agent? No. Good. We're at the max amount of agent. Oh no, we can actually store a bit more. We, it says here 15 out of 15, but it says here 13 out of 15. I think that's because we have one on a siege. I don't know what, where the other one is then, but okay. Alrighty. How are we doing for the Landstrad Council, by the way? So there we go. There's the reroll. Oh, maybe you can't reroll a charter. That would actually be interesting. That would, that would kind of make sense, actually. Allows the training of Landstrad Guard. Hmm. So that's going to come up no matter what. So we have the reroll opportunity on... Unicost or influence production? Let's get rid of the influence production one. Ooh, could be a water. And you can reroll on... Yeah, you've only got one. Okay, cool. At least there we see the button. So we're still in the lead, so it means 16 minutes to go. This could be our last episode, and if it is, remember as well... I haven't seen the comments of the last one, actually, yet. But, um... Remember to let your voices be heard on who you want to see if you want to see a harder faction. Not just a harder faction, but um, and what faction do you want to see when I play in the harder mode, really, is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, looking good. So we have a warrior unit, a warden unit, a ranger unit, so a bit of everything there. There's a bit of everything here, so I'm missing my other heavy weapon unit. And double-clicking it doesn't take me to it, which is alarming. What the hell is that about? Oh, they're in a shuttle, okay, that's why. Oh, they're right to be, they're about to be there. <laughs> Good. So yeah, two armies, the same exact same makeup, just one's here and one's here. Not planning on attacking the Fremen or anything, but just, I don't know, just felt like that's the least defended area. And actually, someone mentioned that this town is actually a pretty good town to... Oh, I didn't build it. Yeah. That you could probably have a missile battery, if well-placed, protecting Burtar or protecting Fonlon. Um, so that is a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. I, <laughs> I did. I only saw that today. But I guess I've just committed to the last building now. But totally valid. Totally valid. Owning this place, though, I guess now, knowing that, uh, means we probably won't get attacked there. But pretty good positioning. Not, not quite as crazy good as the one up north, but very good observation nonetheless, I would say. Now, uh, we have enough authority to try and make another play for this place now. What I'm going to do is just keep putting our various crewmen on back on the harvesters making more gold and making more spice all the time spice is crazy this time we have so much spice and then of course we can be developing our keen a bit more all right so we've got enough of an extra resource now let's just see what we can do for the assassination the third the second it's phase all right so mission setup so a thousand gold and a hundred population now how long can i leave this here before making this choice. Mission duration will be doubled. Spending 100 influence, chance of agent capture 
20 it's the same as what we had before which did apparently we rolled a one in five apparently so in theory that wouldn't happen again right <laughs> uh or we could spend a hundred we could roll a 50 50. let's do it i think we got away with it i spent a hundred influence or a hundred intel and there was a 50 50 chance of immediate capture didn't see anyone get captured sound room detected Call for a pickup. There's four crew on this. Out you go. Communication request. Let's get to business. Stop these perfidious attacks. I know I work in the shadows myself, but how can you compare resistance to conspiracy? You started it, man. He's the one that invaded me first. It all comes down to that. Also, we're on 19,000 hegemony. Which is so crazy ahead of the others. We're going out. We'll wait to redeploy them for just a moment. Could probably trade spice for something with one of the others. I wonder if I just gave Leap Kinds like How a thousand Iraqis spice. Treated. How happy would she be with me? <laughs> I wonder, because there's a thing of like getting up to 80 relations, and I've been saying like I don't know how you do that. Like it just seems so difficult. The amount you'd have to give someone. I could just try it. I mean, I really don't think we're going to need this much. Maybe we'll just make it a bit easier and just give her 500 and say, look, chill. We've never attacked the Fremen. The Fremen have been our good buddies, our little ally. Not ally, but just a nice neutral next to us. Never hurt us. We have one of their um, agents, so I'll just give it back. I'll just give them straight back. How nice is that? Not going to ask for influence. Not going to ask for anything. Just want relations. Let's be good friends. Yep. They've accepted. So they were on plus one relations. What are they now? 38. That's pretty good. Yeah, Sakum Mokua to you too. 15% knowledge. You want to have a little bit of knowledge? A little knowledge agreement? Yes, you do. I mean, hey, I got an achievement for that. Legal bond. I mean, it makes sense. We're, our tech is really good. And what else do you have? A trade agreement. Yeah, come on, let's go. So, 15% Solari for both of us. I lose authority, though, on it. That's fine. Our authority's through the roof now. Hell yeah. Diplomacy to out of my mind. We got ex one extra relation for that. Look at the amount of gold they have. Holy crap. Um, so just out of curiosity, if I said 1,000 spice, how much money would that be? Really not that much. I thought with that much, she'd value her gold very little, but I guess not. So, yeah, just down anyway that's kind of interesting maybe we can build her up to about 50 or something what is it sorry to click this again but what does it give us so um requires diplomatic maneuvers or lady jessica for a non-aggression pact interesting non-aggression pact would be quite interesting then you just guarantee not having to have troops down that way other than maybe like the odd rebellion very interesting anyway it's that time play let's continue How's that assassination doing? Tier 2'd out of our mind, or phase 2'd out of our mind. About to get the next tech as well. Point of interest investigated. Another tech advancement. We've just gotten our next tech, support structures. So now we're going for high command. 8 command point. 20% experience gained when one or more ally units have reached the max experience level. And wardens start with some experience. Airfield range is extended with air command. Cool. We're going out. All right, We're so this harvester has four crew on it. This one has four on it. Three and two. Sorry for the call outs. Alrighty, are we ready to try this again? Or should I just sit still? I do want to take it. It's kind of a personal goal of mine. <laughs> They've made it personal by pushing me back, embarrassing me in front of everybody. What would be also really cool is if you could play the game with an option where you're not allowed pause. Um, oh my god. But why? I just got the town, and you're going to attack me? I just gave you, like, 500 spice and your agent back, and you attack me? 
I can't believe it. There's one garrison unit here that's fighting back. We're on the way. I'm not standing for that. That's so... I can't believe it, you know? Can't get over it. Of all the regions, you've got plenty of places you could expand to and you choose... me. Why? <laughs> and to pillage it as well. Well, you've got a spice field right here, so, you know, you want to go down that road? Let's dance. Lancerad Council vote. Judge of the Council. Water upkeep. And unit recruitment costs. Interesting. So I obviously declined the water upkeep. I support the Lancerad on myself. And I declined this for as much as I can as well. So it's even across the board. 200. Throwing our weight around. Waiting for your order. Roger that. Yes, sir. Sending the ornithopters down as well. At your command. Awaiting orders. At your service, sir. Those infiltrators are a crazy powerful unit, by the way. Their first attack does 80 damage. Only the first one though, then it's like 20 after that. Uh, but yeah, so in Anno 1800, when you pause the game, you can't build, it just doesn't let you do anything. You can maybe look around and stuff, but I like the idea that in this, they could, like, have an option, a game option that says... Yeah, you just, you like, the screen goes a bit dark or whatever when you press pause. Like, you can pause, obviously, and save it or whatever, but I like the idea that if you want to do, like, an, the equivalent of, like, an Iron Man mode, you're not allowed to pause and give orders. That'd be quite an interesting challenge, because then you really do have to keep active. Well, something that's been very easy for me making it a lot easier for me. It's just the ability to like pause it, catch the sandworms, you know. I don't, but having that divided attention, and obviously in multiplayer you wouldn't be pausing it, so it wouldn't be a crazy thing to like have as an option for people who want to play around with that. It'd be kind of cool, I think. So now we're just fighting two Kulon caravans, and they've been disrupted times 10, so 20% extra damage is received. They have huge amounts of health. They're really just a support unit. Alright, leave him be, leave him be. Maybe try and get that last one. <laughs> there we go. Alright, what did we get? Mission succeeded. So we hit our phase two. So it's just phase three to completely wipe out the assassination of the smugglers. 5,000 gold and 1,000 intel. And level three... Um, what's it called? Infiltration. Now, one of our agents just got captured while we were doing this. How can I help? You can give me my agent back so I can continue to try and kill you. That would be nice. But we ultimately need the gold. Maybe I could give them influence. Would you like that? Nah. Intel, I guess. Nah. <laughs> uh, they won't give it to me. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, they would, but I'm not I'm not going to sit here and min-max that. Let's just go with... You need to stay there, actually. I'm going to put a Ben Jessery here so it goes up quite a bit. And then you can go in here. So that'll stay on level 3. This should go up to level 3. Because she counts as 2. Alright. Trade request. You're going to give me gold, spice, and intel for... It? No. We're going out. We're going out. We're going out. Alright, all of our... Um, Harvesters are almost maxed out. Just one of them has two free slots. Excuse me. I'm thinking of bringing all my eight units up here and just attacking this place now. Because <laughs> why not? That's what life is for. Let's, um... Yeah, start building here and get some militia. In case they try any of their tricks again. Negative 59. All of that just for nothing. You know what I mean? How do you keep a good relation level? <laughs> It's crazy. I don't know how you do it. Sir? I gave you everything. And you spit in my face. And then I'm the one who's punished for defending my territory. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to say let's just go for it now. So what's the support drone? It costs four military up uh, power. Was it combat? Command points. Does not generate vibrations. Nearby allied units gain 20% extra health. Regeneration per day as well as support drone. That's nice. Hmm. 
No, we could get we could we could get one of those if we just moved off the Landstrad, for instance, or off something else. Do we really need Solari production that much? Nah. Oh, we don't have it yet. We need Spying Mastery to get it. Okay. Well, with the next tech, we'd have it. Even though we need the thousand intel, I also need the supply drop, definitely. Let's get that. Listening. We'll hold. And I'll use it more at the appropriate time. But yeah, um, speaking of the no pause thing, it'd be crazy. I don't think it would make for good viewing, but um, it'd be fun with the insane difficulty to also play it that way, where it's like, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to pause. Um, or maybe I could self-impose on myself, like, I'm not going to give an order, but maybe I can pause and look around and talk, because like, I obviously want to talk through some, certain things sometimes. That might be a nice uh, middle ground. So we could um, peacefully annex this place. That's all I didn't really think about that. We could just keep peacefully annexing as well. Not that we need any more towns at this point. I need 5,000 gold. That's ultimately what I'm waiting to build up. Alright. Six hundred influence were maxed out, and when's the next council thing? It's about to happen now, which means we can spend seven hundred in total. Two thirty, two fifty, two fifty. Seems like it's a good domination of the politics. And by the way, how long till we win? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. So there'll be one more chance for them to kick us out after this roll. By the way. Counter-assassination mission detected. The smugglers have launched a counter-assassination mission against you. Proximity purge. As a result, you lose one infiltration level on this faction. Oh. Interesting. They're trying to slow down and prevent me getting to my third stage. Yeah, I don't know what it's like to be the faction on the receiving end. So what do you see, you know? All right, off we go. Now, just thinking about it. Resource deficit, counter assassination. So the water deficit passed. All right, I didn't even look at that. Damn, that's, yeah, that's a bit of a pain. But it's not terrible. There's six wind strength down here. Great water region. So if we just build up the uh, wind trap, that'll give us the water we need. And that's basically given us a negative 50% manpower production and a 50 supply drain. Oh, no. Okay, hang on. I have to fall back until we sort that. We won't make it for supply. We'll end up fighting and then just start bleeding out. Bleeding out. It's so frustrating that that happened. A raid has been detected. What do you need? Off we go. <laughs> just pile everyone together and go somewhere. Because they're gathering up here as well, so we might as well fight them back. Well, while that's happening and we have the authority, I feel like we should just annex into the region. I mean, why the hell not? Ah, we don't have the water. <laughs> Oops. Combat ongoing. Oh, they're trying to shoot down my craft. Look at the missile. It's like following us along with us until we stop. And another one has come out. That's kind of cool. I know it's not really supposed to be doing that, I don't think, but it's kind of cool nevertheless. Oh my god. Again, a raid coinciding with the smugglers. It's like they're working together. I don't know if they do that. Sandworms for miles can hear this. <laughs> Speaking of... No, that's okay. This unit's particularly particularly damaged. Are they okay? They seem okay. I'll pull them back now. Sandworm. Right 
Oh, this is going to be hell to move all of these guys correctly just to get onto the bedrock. The bedrock's right against the edge of the map and they want to charge out. There's no guard mode in the game. These units have a death wish. <laughs> the garrison ones I can't do anything about. Is that gone actually? It looks like it's gone. The sand room. Ah, we lost one of our units. It was the warrior, wasn't it? So I keep calling them warriors, they're troopers. If they're different factions, they're called warriors. And the Fremen have attacked down here now. Yeah, man. That sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense. We're the top dog, you know. We're going to win soon. So they want to start poking and prodding at us. Fair, fair enough. Stop running, dude. You're just going to die. Ugh. Sucks, man. You could sit on the edge like that. We can go for them now. I don't see the uh, the worms anymore. So I'm going to go with this. Oh, yeah. Landsrad Guard. Now, what are the next things? Judge of the Council, control of markets, and loss of rights. So I think I don't think we can lose now. I think that might be it. But let's just keep going. It might happen. Um, but yeah, let's get Landsrad Guard instead. So they only cost three upkeep. But they cost influence. So let's get two of those. We just lost, um, well, we don't really need a trooper. What else do we have? We've got one warden. We lost a warden, did we? Okay. Raise those units. We'll go try to protect our south. I'm sure they're most likely raiding our south. Just wanted to destroy some of these units and then move back. this resource deficit again combat ongoing what oh a rebellion happened here it looks like it's almost there because it's above our keen that'd be crazy to have a rebellion in your home territory yeah we'll fly down for that now in a second the they're all dead we are, focused. are we good to go everyone's allowed to it says must leave combat My Duke. yep all right let's fly Oh, they're going to die anyway, so that's okay. Arakeen's taking care of that. So yeah, we could fly down here and try to deal with these pests as they're pillaging. I don't think we're going to get there in time, but we could try. Fun stuff being so spread out. I guess as well, like, their base is here and they're healing, like, like, right back here. So their troops are just ready to go. But they will fly down to the Polar Sink if we were to invade it. I'd, ra I'd rather fight them there if we could. Now, as to... Yeah, I guess we lost water because we lost this place. That's probably why. Yeah. We'll get it back once we get the town back up and running. There we go. I always... I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll put a garrison back on it. But it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. So two Landstrad Guard, a Warden, and then if we can get that technology done, I want to get a support unit that will heal us while we're out there. Yeah, so that pillage is going to go ahead successfully. MFers. It's going to last a while, I guess. No point really fighting them. I might as well just go straight back to the um, Polar Sink. Try our hand at combat there. Can't really deal with the Fremen as it stands. They're on a cooldown for 30 seconds. So just run back up there. We'll get you in position in a moment. Get them moving as well. Yeah, there's still units here. I'm not worried. I, I don't know. What can I do? We can rebuild our militia. And if they attack again, they attack again. Just go all militia. Unassigned agent. We have Benji yesterday, so we're building that up to level 3 as expected. We could get the Spacing Guild up further. Or we could put them on a Siege, maybe. Seeing as we got one free. This one's at 100, and this will give us 20% manpower production. Hell yeah, let's go with that. You must... Oh, you gotta own the region to ally, though, yeah. Damn. What about this one? Warden units cost less of a command point. Oh, well, we'll just put them into something else. Yeah, it's just 16 out of 15. Interesting. Let's 
Saving up the intel, don't really want to get anything else. They're backing off now. Might as well build a missile battery. Might help with the defenses if they come in again. Don't know if this would reach all the way down to there. No, I guess not. Could give the power in the allied regions, the nearby regions. That would kind of make sense, right? It would affect this, this, and this. Wouldn't affect that one, but that's okay. It's a frontline region. If we ever take that, same thing. And that hurts our water production stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, it's at negative 50% production. Okay, just moving everyone back over to the polar sink. And I think that's everyone. It is indeed. Now we can get those units because we actually hold every single charter and we win in five minutes. <laughs> We're pretty close for winning on the um, hege hegemony as well. And if we take the polar sink, we get a thousand boost to that. So we'll be up to 22,600. And with all our fighting, we get a bunch from defeated enemy units. 4,000 comes from all our fighting. You can spend money to get chome shares as well. I don't know what craft workshops is. Construction done. So maybe extra fuel. Would that be worth it? Intel production. Oh, spice production I said I'd build here in case we get the two regions. Alright. Everyone's right pretty way. much together. We have our operations to give us extra supply as we go in there. Try the second attack. I'm still not that confident in it. I, I know I can do better than I did last time, but... Like, I can apply the supply drop when it makes a bit more sense. I did it way too early last time. Same with the gear sabotage, to be honest. But I don't have that this time. Alright, let's go. Four and a half thousand gold. Soon enough, we'll be able to do the final stage of the assassination. We'll hold here. Boys are moving in. And the girls. Do it. Fall through the polar sink. Do it. I want to see it happen. <laughs> They're right on the edge. Construction complete down here. Good. Sandworm detected. Let's get you picked up. Alright, so question is, where should we go first, you know? Oh, they actually don't have their... Oh, they do. Their missile cell is at the back now. And their one is here. I think I'll just have to say, screw it. We can't really be taking on two towns. I'm going for this one. Gonna do the supply drop now, because some of our units are getting a bit low. Landstrad votes going through. Judge of the Council is up for re-election. Could try ourselves again just so we can continue to recruit the Landstrad Guard. 30% bonus to exchange rate. Ah, see that one? All active charters are revoked. Really none of this matters. If we're only cared about winning, we would say no and put everything we have down on that, right? Which we might have to do. I'll put 350 on it. That's that's pretty high. And then we could just put everything else down on this to keep our Landstrad units. Can't get everything this time for sure. Alright, let's take out that missile battery. Let's get these two to run a bit further over this side. Let's take control. 414 as well. It's so expensive. Now, I need to leave a unit here in order to gain this, and they're probably going to fly someone in, but it's tempting to just try and take this offline, because it's just going to keep shooting me, right? So I have to try do something, otherwise we're just passively taking damage. So I'm going to do it. We'll leave this unit back and send everyone else forward into this town. So they're the weakest unit.
All right, going a lot better. I don't see them at all at the moment. Don't know if they're ferrying over or are they just running manually? I don't know. Are they low on gold? How can I? Uh, they're not great. Sandworm detected on two of our harvesters. Okay, so we could pillage or liberate, so we just turn it into a neutral village. I would say do that, just turn it into a neutral village, I just don't want it there. <laughs> we could take it at some other future point, you know, if we ever get the uh, authority to do it. Alright, good. Way easier than last time, they didn't really bring any external resistance. Just fly back and separate our units just slightly. Good. Alright, awesome. Lancerad Council vote. How much time is left on it? Four more days. Put more, we've got 40 more votes to put down. What else do we have? Nothing else really going on. Looks like a raid might be coming in soon. Uh, so yeah, we can do the final assassination stage. Oh, we can't. We need level 3. So we have to wait for that to get up to level 3. It's on its way. It's going now. It will go even faster if I put another agent on it, though, wouldn't it? Let's just see. Yeah, it goes plus 40, negative 20. So it's plus 20 per day. That should go faster. Ben Jessery is awesome. <laughs> All right, we can pop our harvesters back out. I wonder then, should we build at Arakeen, seeing as we have the resources to do it? Two influence production agents assigned on Landstrad produce Solari. 20% influence production per other faction with a relationship over 50. Like I said, impossible. <laughs> 12 command points for a command post in the military. We could do that. And we're actually getting a lot of military techs. We'll get a benefit to technology doing that. We'll get this one. Alrighty. Looks like this is going to be the final episode because we are now a minute and 20 away from winning. With no sign of a vote. I mean, unless unless they get loss of rights, which they might. Granted, I'm not putting everything down on it. 350, I feel like, is a fair amount. Let's go 370. 100 on this. Try and keep Judge of the Council. Can't build anymore. I, I like the Landstrad Guards. They're powerful units. This unit is not affected by the mol molasses inflicted by military units. The Honor Guard of the Landstrad and rarely seen on the field, but they are fearsome fighters nonetheless. And they cost water upkeep as well. Three. Quite heavy. It's interesting. This one costs fuel. Is everything three, actually? Oh, it is. I guess it's not that bad. I know the Kulon Caravan for the Fremen costs 12. Huge amount of water. And we fought two of them earlier. Surely a charter will advantage you. Okay. But will it remedy your inability to change and adapt? Otherwise, I cannot see a future for you in Arrakis. Yeah, I can't see a future for you because you backstabbed me. After I did nothing but give... I gave you, basically, drugs for free. And nothing. And just, you know, I fed, I fed a rat and it turned around and bit me. That's basically what happened. Never be nice to anyone is what I learned. Alright, we've just about got it, finally. Oh, so we're about to get a big jump, and then we can build a water extractor as well here, getting 50 water. Boom. Done. Aha! I see someone flying in. But let's get building. Oh, we have buildings. Oh, we just got the building. They, they already had it. I forgot, of course. You can destroy these buildings if you wanted to, but we left them there. We have the airfield here now. And 20% power. That's good that the AI built that. It's a smart, one to, smart building to put down here. Three water for each wind. It's not really any wind here. But yeah, we go with missile battery to keep it protected. Alright, fly in. So be it. Oh, they're flying over me. Well, that was silly, dividing the troops like that. <laughs> and there we go. And that's it. As anticlimactic as it kind of is. Victory. The Landsrad recognize you as the official, official governor of Dune. It looks like we've been nuked, but we haven't. It's just our big glowing symbol to say that, yes, we have indeed won. 
And that's GG. Unfortunately, there's no victory screen to sort of see how everyone did and everything. I would kind of like to see that. Um, maybe we'll just Let's keep going for the full length of this episode. We can always just keep playing. Maybe we can still finish off our operation and kill that MF. -er. We're about to hit level 3, and then we can begin the assassination. And we might have time if I just don't pause it anymore. I'll begin this episode just to finish it. So, yeah, we basically just won through Dune Governorship. We lost our Judge of the Council charter, actually. So, we put down 392. So, the other houses gave us a little bit of a, a vote as well there. But, yeah, 392 versus 268. So, we easily won it. Wasn't really an opportunity. I think um, three, three rolls of the dice for them to have a chance at getting rid of this. And really, only one of them was even a chance. Because the other ones that came up had nothing to do with it. You know, only having that opportunity to get rid of Dune Chartership is, or Dune, Dune Governorship is really difficult. And even when the, when the AI takes it and you're playing as another faction, it's like, God damn, I'm just, I'm waiting for this to roll. But I suppose it's like, you should never let them even get it in the first place, right? But interesting. That's how we want it. So it looks like they landed some troops over here. Maybe a little bit of a bugged out AI in a way. Because this region is so tumultuously separated. Okay, let's get back in position. At least we got some Lance Red Guard. That's pretty cool. And uh, we can get some Militia here again. How are the Harvesters? Everything has four on it, right? Yep. Alright, we're just waiting for level three. Almost about to get there. And then, now we can do it. Ah, we need a thousand influence. We're close. Or, sorry, Intel. We're very close. 827. That's fine. <laughs> At your service. We salute you. We're honored to serve you. Understood. I think I've gone for a reasonably varied army as well, which is nice. You can also win by attacking someone's settlement directly. It takes a long time to do it, but I did it on stream a while back just to show that how it can be done. On duty. Again though, I think they need to put in a sort of a victory screen. So you feel like you have a bit more of a payoff at the end. Uh, I don't know what to get, really. I know it doesn't really matter at this point, but I suppose more military. Why not just double down on it? We got more troops coming in this way. Rebellion underway. Oof. I'll have to pull some of them away. We'll go, sir. These can be pulled away. She just said, we'll go. So, they volunteered. You all heard it. We still have this nice army here to defend. We have garrison building up as well, so I'm sure it'll be okay. Anything else that I'm missing? Another attack up here. Rebellion, uh, rebel attack. Siege attack. They're at negative 50 relations with me. The good thing now with all this water, I just realized, is we could just get all the benefits from all the sieges because we've got too much water. It's mostly plascrete, it seems like. This one's knowledge, that one's gold, or Solari, and this one was spice. Alright. So that's fine. That was an insult. Oh yeah, I can track it here. So I always forget that you can actually just see it there. 892. I'll speed up time just a little bit. Don't want this episode to get artificially long after we've won. Let's go. We'll do it for you. Lance Rad, Lance Guard are beasts. These little rebels are no problem whatsoever. Hostile units, ah, counterattack, but in a very defensive region, so hopefully we can hold all the missiles are firing on them. That's the plan anyway. Now, we, oh yeah, we've gotten the increased um, military count, so we can actually have more. We can get that support drone in, finally see that unit. Uh, maybe just some troopers, some standard troopers is fine by me.
All right, good. Rebellion fought off, pushed back. And then I'm gonna fly up here. So a two-pronged attack, they're attacking two settlements, but only the garrison from this one's gonna wake up. It's really only an attack against one, I guess. All right, these troops are on the way. Oh no, the others have woken up. They're attacking now. The missiles are firing from all three. Excellent. I have sped up time. We're about to hit a thousand influence and, or intel. I keep calling that in influence for some reason. Intel. And that should allow us to kill the uh, smuggler captain. He's been a, such our adversary for so long that I think it only makes sense to try this. Assassination. A thousand intel. Five thousand gold. We have a thousand. We've got lots in reserve. So if they need some additional currency and stuff, I think we can provide it. I'm just noticing these guys didn't seem to... Where are they? In shuttle. Okay, good. We are ready. Waiting for that uh, drone to come out as well. Alright, here we are. Nope, still no... E okay. No message about the assassination. Not yet. Excellent. So I might push further just for the fun of it and just keep pushing into their territory. Uh, maybe with these units now we can make a push to up to Ain Al Wahad and try to uh, liberate that one. Just kill their territories. Just strangle them a little bit. Because why the hell not? <laughs> just destroyed a big part of their military. Construction possible in our base. We just got the uh, command point one a while back. What else can we go with now? Harvester works. Harvester gathering rate per economy building in its village. Yeah, sure. And now we've up to 50. All right, combat's ongoing over here. Nice. So how's the how's the uh, assassination? We're already at about 25%. Yeah. Sweet. So we are sped up. I'll keep speeding it up, actually, just so that I can go a bit quicker. So we can see the demise of our smuggler friends. Now, we could pillage. Now, we'll liberate. We want to just destroy their territory. I kind of feel bad for them, I gotta be honest now. It's such a, we're like an overwhelming force now. And they can't keep up. But it's good to see <laughs> at the same time. Because they, uh, they gave me a run for my money, in, at least militarily in that last episode where they just kept pushing me back. But yeah, now we're, we're really tightening the noose, tightening our grip around them. No more rebellions. I, I can't believe the betrayal of the Fremen as well. After the act, the active treaties and everything, and they just don't care. <laughs> oh, there's spice here as well. We could run out and attack that. They want to trade. How can I help? That's, that's that's nice. Oh, you give me back my agent? No, I don't think so. I'll get him back. Oh, this isn't really progressing. Is there a reason for that? Oh, mission complications. Crap, I didn't see it. Sorry. 500, 150. Mission duration, 20%. No chance of capture. Yeah, let's go with that one. Damn, sorry. I didn't see that. Let's pull back. This isn't worth it. <laughs> they take a while to kill and we're getting hit by those missiles. I want to see that support drone heal. There we go, it's working. All right, liberated. That area is gone, let's fall back. Now, can we peacefully annex this? We could, that's the way to do it. Liberate and peacefully annex. And their siege is right there. We're right against their border. Operation against me, ghost market. That's actually a really good idea to do on this region. Although you don't... No, for ghosts you don't get water, actually. So I guess maybe not. Get the other stuff. 
Did I lose three harvesters? <laughs> oh, I did. Well, there you go. So much for playing on uh, fast speed, no pause. That's fine, though. We'll get them back over time. We have so much spice, it's really irrelevant. And money, to be honest. Let's just stockpile a bit more. Mission complication again. Uh, chance of immediate capture, 20%. Landstrad standing will go down by 50. I'm fine with that. That's fine. We'll keep a low profile. Yeah. Did we lose our agent? We didn't. What are we on now? We're up to 50%. Almost done. Uh, we've taken this area out. So let's split up. Alright, cool. We're running back home. So there's their territory now. Cut in on the various different sides of it. We could even make a push for Fawn Aldad, but that'd be difficult, I think. Never did get the Well of Riches. 500 hegemony. Siege has become friendly. We could apply another agent to it if we wanted to. Do we have any free? I guess not. So in losing all those harvesters, we lost, you know, 200 crew per harvester. Pretty bad. Really. Oh, we've hit max uh, Plascrete. Not that it matters, but I have that OCD where it's like, well, we got to spend it, you know? Got to spend it somewhere. Okay. All right. They're all back out and, and work in the fields. Mission complication. Let's check it again. Do nothing. Increasing the duration. Spend another 100 and 100 intel. Landstrad will go down. Oh, I just realized, actually, there's a vote ongoing right now. Well, it doesn't matter if we lose the Dune governorship now, I suppose. Um, not that we will, though. But yeah, let's just do our mission first. Oh, the village became occupied before peaceful annexation could take place. Oh, they've taken it back. Look at that. Didn't even notice. Do I care enough to... Yeah, I guess so. All right, we'll go in and attack it. Um, yeah, so spread disinformation. M more Landstrad standing is going to fall down, but again, don't mind too much at this point. They're actually about to die. I just realized I don't know why I'd even bother attacking them. But Unassigned agent. Okay, they're dead. Liberated again. Oh, that's it. That is it. Very un uh, anticlimactic again. In fairness. What the hell is that? Oh, yeah, but they just had their thing blow up. That is GG. I should have had an ornithopter over there watching it, but there you go. Yeah, so that's the assassination. You don't see anything, you know. It's a bit, it's a bit anticlimactic in fairness. I guess, I guess you know, game is early access and everything. To be fair, for an early access game, it's probably one of the most ad advanced and well thought out, bug free early access games I've encountered. So that's a big thumbs up. But yeah, unfortunately, there's still just no none of that payoff for winning a game. <laughs> so it just says assassination mission successful. We've effectively just eliminated all of the smuggler territory, and they were my big adversary really in the game. All right, that is going to be it then for the end of this series we've played, or this particular series. I'd like to continue, Dune. I'm just really enjoying the game at the moment. So, if and the viewership and everything, it's been great. So I'm happy to continue it. Um, but yeah, I'd like to play as either Harkonnen smugglers or Fremen next time. Arguably, I'd prefer Harkonnen or smugglers. I've played a lot of Fremen. Wouldn't mind playing it again on the hardest difficulty though. It'd still be a challenge. Um, yeah, and I'm going to play on Insane. So there might be like a one or two day break, max, maybe just a one day break. I'll have a look at what people are saying, and then I'll come back with a, another series. Uh, and we'll continue that. And then for those who are interested, my Anno campaigns are going to continue as well. And I've also got Project Zomboy to plan on getting back to also. Um, but yeah, after this is after the next campaign is done, it's a bit far in the future. But if you're not familiar, please do consider subscribing to this channel for future strategy game sort of Let's Plays. And if you like more condensed, feature-rich reviews and things like that, you can check out my main channel, Republic of Play, as well. So that's going to be it for this one. Let's just wait until we get the eyes on this terrain. I want to see what it looks like burning and smoldering. We have the Ornithopters on the way.
They'll be there in just a moon. There they are. As they sort of like scout the terrain, they can just see what's left. Assass you can imagine the assassinate assassins snuck in there. I can't remember his name. Yeah, took out Esmar Tuek. And then all all chaos broke out at the place itself. Maybe we detonated some charges in there. That's the kind of assassination we went for. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, that's going to have to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate all the support so far. Well done to the winners of the Dune Spice Wars copies. I believe both their names were Steven, which just happened to be a complete coincidence. And thanks to the developer for sending me the uh, giveaway copies as well. Alright, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.